Hey everybody, it's Herb coming to you from New Yorker Knoxville. Hope you're doing well. So uh, today I'm going to be talking about a kind of a improvise I've had to make in order to outsmart Peter Rabbit. Um, I've been having issues where animals been getting into my garden and um, roughing up my beans a little bit, but they're still doing okay. But they've really been hammering at these sunchokes. And it's been very frustrating because it's like every time I think they're coming back, something comes in and chews on them. So I've narrowed it down. I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's the rabbits because if the groundhogs were doing this, um, there would have been signs of them either digging underneath or just trampling over the fence to get in. And I haven't seen any of that. And I'm pretty sure it's not deer. We don't because one, we don't really have a lot of deer around here. And two, um, because they would be hitting stuff that's been growing higher up. It seems like the bean plants that have been getting stripped are the ones that haven't been able to um, find a trellis yet. This one got hammered pretty hard here, and it was still creeping along the ground. So, um, anyway, what I decided to do, I don't know if this is an original idea, or if other people have already thought of this, but it's a new type of trellis slash rabbit defense and all i did was i took some leftover chicken wire and i made a cylinder out of it and i drove a bamboo stake down to anchor it to the ground and the idea is that there's not enough room for a rabbit to jump in and climb down to get these plants so i'm hoping that as the sunchokes grow upward they will be protected until they're too large and too high for the rabbits to bother with them so, um, but now that I'm looking at this thing, I probably should have, this is probably even more important than putting a fence up, and it's probably more resourceful way of using trellis material. So, you know, the, um, the cylinder is stabilizing the stake where I only need one stake rather than the teepees, which I use three stakes. So, um, and I'm certainly using less fencing material for these cylinders than I am for the whole fence. So, you know, going forward, now that I'm getting used to gardening in Tennessee, um, I'm thinking that if, I, as I have a larger and larger square footage that I need to take care of, and if I want to continue to grow sunchokes, I might just use this system where it's just the bamboo stake and um, and the uh, cylinder chicken wire. That way it's more cost effective and I can cover uh, more square footage with less with, with it without spending a lot of money. So um, wish me luck on this guys. I really hope this is it's been a little bit discouraging. Um, for a while I was putting uh, empty flower pots over these plants at night thinking that um, the tax are coming at night but then I realized that Sometimes if nobody was around, they'd come in in the day and still cause damage. So I'm hoping that this um, works. And if it does work, yay, I can reliably grow sunchokes in Tennessee, which I've been aiming to do. Um, just as far as other updates in the garden, the squash are starting to take off, which is exciting. And the animals don't seem too interested in them. So I'm very happy with that, that these... Um, these plants don't seem to need too much coddling. I put in five plants, they're all doing pretty good. Um, bean plants have been, some of them got beat up pretty hard, but I have other ones that are doing well. This is just a demonstration that the trellis is working. This plant uh, found this uh, trellis and started snaking its way up, so that's exciting. Um, I have Another one just starting to do this over here, and then another one over there. So it, it is working. Um, I'm probably going to go to the store, get more stakes, and try to make at least one or two more protective uh, um, cylinders for the sunchokes that are still seem to be surviving. And um, I'm probably also going to plant some backup beans, just do direct sow at the base of these trellises to see if I can just get more beans growing um, in this garden. Potatoes are doing well. Um, this one I've been piling up with 
uh, yard waste and then that's just some spoiled cabbage I threw in there I'm hoping that that feeds the plant and gives it something to grow in um, and the last thing is my walking onions are starting to bud so this is very exciting because soon hopefully I'll have these um, bubbles to show you which is how these walking onions reproduce they basically clone themselves at the top and you can just keep propagating more and more of these Egyptian walking onions with the the bubbles bulbs that grow on top so I'm excited overall even though we've had some speed bumps the garden is uh, getting more and more productive and um, I'm really optimistic I'm hoping that these cylinders will do the trick so thanks for joining me um, if you've seen this before and I'm not the first person to think of it let me know um, if you have any questions or ideas let me know about that too thank you for uh, sharing liking subscribing all that good stuff and uh, talk to you soon bye guys